Hey everybody, today is July 23rd and it has been a while since I did an update on this. The problem for that is because I'm actually testing some fertilizer and these are really high in nitrogen so it's really not a good fertilizer to use at this time because what it does is it makes my plant grow like crazy but they're not fruiting very much. So anyway, I'm going to try to make this quick so I'll show you what's going on. Uh, this first one here is my reaper and it is starting to ripen a little bit it's changing color and There's still a ton of, of little buds everywhere, but I'm probably not gonna get much of these fruits to form until a Couple weeks more, but look at the plants. It's just so healthy and green and so next week I'm gonna hit this with some bloom nutrients and Hopefully that would boost the growth I'll let you see when that happens and I'll also report the progress. Alright, that's my reaper. Next is my chocolate scotch bonnet. Check out this beauty. Nice and chocolate there. There's a few there that are turning color. And because these are much larger plants than my indoor plants, the fruit are also much larger. And there's some back there too. Not as many as my indoor plants. This would probably need to get some some bloom nutrients going, but I see some new buds forming. Hopefully that uh, I'll get more fruits out of those. And this guy here is the one that produce the most. Check out all these uh, Bahamian goats. They're all turning color. Very nice there. This is one of my favorite, and the fruit are delicious and very nice and. So, sort of mild I would say I'm very happy about that one all right here's the white devil's tail look at that it ripened up to a whitish color and those are the one that's not ripe yet I took a bite off of one of this and it's pretty hot very nice plant here is my red habanero <laughs> just one fruit I might cut that off pretty soon and see if it would promote anything else to grow all of these trees are extremely healthy, just not producing as much as I would like. It's probably because of me constantly testing nutrients and messing it up. Here is my white ghost. Looking very nice. Have a few fruits. Next is my Banda Majak. Very pretty pepper here. Look at that color. These are the younger ones. Again, very nice looking plant, really nice and healthy, pretty fruits as well. Another red habanero, just budding, but nothing is happening. And these are the two that were damaged really bad. Ooh, look at that, one fruit, <laughs> orange habanero. And my ricotta is just recovering, and nothing's on that yet, but it's growing really well. This is my seven pot infinity really healthy looking plants but nothing's here I'll, I'll continue to test and see if I can get them to produce here's another white ghost just the second one and then the last few this is another Bahamian goat it's looking very nice this this is the one that were damaged but see it's coming back very nicely you can't even tell if anything happened to that tree and then the last two MOA Scotch Bonnets. I really love these plants. I wish they would grow faster. Those are all my outdoor plants. Then I have some indoor plants that I'll show you next. Almost forgot about these guys. These are the two boot jalokia that I bought from a nursery. This guy is doing extremely well. I mean it's grown quite a bit since I last made an update on him. And this one here is doing okay. Not as well. And the leaves doesn't look as healthy, but this guy's doing great. All right, here we are. These are my indoor plants. Um, I really don't have a lot going on except I constantly trim these off. So every time you look at them, they look a little different. This is the orange scotch bonnet. And check out the size of this fruit. So if you grow a very small tree and you want large fruit, I mentioned this before in my previous videos and one of the videos, but if you want large fruit on a small plant, cut all of the other fruits that you don't want off. Like say for example you have three or four 
or five on a single branch like that just once you see a fruit cut all of the other buds off and then you get a size of a fruit this size look at the size of this so as you can see there's nothing else on this branch see that there's no other flowers because I trimmed them all off and that's the only one so all of the plants energy are focused here so you get a large size fruit and here is another example I cut everything around there off so that plant that fruit there is pretty good size anyway that's pretty much for the scotch bonnet I have a few things going on in the back then this is a seven pot white that I'm working with I mean I'm doing all kinds of tests so you see there's nothing left on the plant <laughs> And then here is the Thai chili. Uh, hopefully this is the bird's eye. It's one of the seeds that, I, that was given to me by one of the members on our channel. And there is my chocolate maruga. I mean, this guy's been trimmed like crazy. I mean, so many times. Every time I fruit, I trim it back because I'm really not ready for this one to fruit because I have so many that's taken up all the space. So that's why you keep seeing this guy being cut back. So I, it has three fruits, so I trimmed those off, threw those away. And then here is my pry plant, the chocolate scotch bonnet that I showed in every video. It's fruiting again like crazy. This is going to be the third harvest. So if you haven't seen the harvest, go back to the, previous, the other video. I'll give you a link of... Uh, of my harvest where I harvested 72 fruits and from the look of this I probably will have another 72 or more and also on top of that I have grafted two plants onto here I did a video separately for that so if you want to check it out I'll link you and uh, there is my graft right here and it's flowering and fruiting also so hopefully the fruit will stick and I'll get different variety of fruits on here and I'll show you that in a different video and then another graph is this one right here it's very difficult to see but that's the either the seven pot white or the the white devil's tail it's one of those that I grafted on here so I have it labeled there <laughs> so I remember so that's the chocolate scotch bonnet and uh, guys if you are looking for a plant to grow that are nice uh, good mild heat a uh, good flavor really really productive and the, and beautiful fruit here it is like this definitely try the chocolate scotch bonnet highly recommend that and here is the chocolate reaper uh, I trade seed with Dave thanks Dave it's grown really nicely and I'm trying to get this here to grow just like this so I did the same setup anyway uh, that's all for my indoor plants and before I close this out I want to show you my harvest so I gave a few away on the way home uh, a friend of mine took four of my Bahamian goat because I told him it, it's a really fantastic tasting flavor, good fruit. So I gave a few of those away and here's what I have left. Um, these are Banda Majak. These are beautiful peppers. I mean, look at this. This thing is just absolutely gorgeous. And of course, my favorite chocolate scotch bonnet. Always a lovely pepper and to grow, to eat, and even to look at. It's very, very nice. These are... Scotch bonnet from my indoor plant and Bahamian goat. See, look at this. It looks very much like a scotch bonnet. See, this is a scotch bonnet, the, the darker color, and this is the Bahamian goat. And you see the tail there? Um, many of the plants will have this same shape with the tail and stuff. And uh, some will not. Some will look just like a scotch bonnet. Well, I don't know. I didn't have, I didn't have any this time, but see it? They look very cool, very neat looking plant. So that's another one that you really must grow in your garden because it's really nice and tastes great, very prolific. So it's a great pepper for hot sauce, eat them just with food or you know, uh, you can even cook with them. And so that's all I have for today. Um, again, I was testing with my outdoor plants. I boosted with nitrogen so it grew like crazy and it didn't fruit very much. So those are our experiment. And then in my indoor plants, it fruit like crazy because I adjusted the uh, the NPK. But uh, in the future, I may do a video like that to, to, to show what I did to get so many peppers on these plants and what I did to get the peppers to grow so big on my outdoor plants. So 
the experiment is going well. I don't get as many fruits as I would like, but that's fine because next season I'm going to get a ton of pepper because I've learned so much this season. But anyway, um, thank you for watching and please subscribe, uh, join our community and check out my other videos on these peppers.